everyone and welcome back. Today I have for you something completely different and out of left field that is a fast food restaurant, KFC. Um, this was just to kind of break up the monotony of always building medieval and just to do something completely different. It was fun to do, I actually enjoyed this. This was actually looking back through my Instagram photos at the very bottom of my feed, so I wanted to rebuild it. With that said, I should say we will not be doing the interior, but this is just a glimpse of what you can do with the interior, but we will be building the exterior to its fullest. So without further ado, let us begin. So this build will be a little bit trickier in the floor plan as it's different colors, but I'm going to start off with the cyan terracotta, then we're going to use smooth quartz stairs, then we're going to also use red terracotta. And then the other side is going to be a little bit simpler using red terracotta and the smooth quartz blocks all the way around. I'll have the numbers provided for this part as it would be easier than me explaining it. Now for a floor of your choice, I'm going to use jungle wood just for this for now. You can always change it and add in other things later on, but we're not doing an interior so I won't be able to do like the tiled floor and stuff. So for walling up, we're going to start here in the corner with the cyan, just putting one block, and then beside it we're going to build up another four tall, so it should be a total of five tall entirely. But then back where we started, I'm going to fill the rest in with three more smooth quartz blocks. And then now we're just going to copy all of what we already have and go all the way around the building. So now we're at the trickiest part of the build, but we're going to start on the left hand side there with the smooth quartz. We're going to go up one block and then one lower. We're going to use smooth quartz staircases all the way across. Now we're going to have a bit of a pattern here with the smooth stone quartz and red terracotta going one, then two, then two. And then here at the end, we're going to use three redstone lamps and then finally a smooth quartz at the end. Then across the top, we're going to use smooth quartz stairs still right about there and then four more with a space because we're going to use smooth quartz block there and then at the very end at the mid level there we're going to use a smooth quartz staircase upside down now that's important for the front of the building now from here we're going to continue and do the same things so we're going to mirror what we just did to the other side or the front face of the building and then lastly, we're going to bring the rest of the building up to the same height as the details we just put on the front. So now we're going to build the height of the building up to the, well, to the max height. And to do that, we're going to start in the far corner. We're going to raise that by a total of six, then five, and then five, and then six, five, and five, and finally six. And then one more there, the important part, the front of the building, we're going to raise that a total of seven times. And then at the very tops, we're going to cross them together with the smooth quartz block. And then underneath, we're going to use our smooth quartz staircases. So this part can be a little tricky as well, but we're gonna start with our cyan terracotta. And we're going to build all along the perimeter and then also one in along this front face of the building. And then I'll show you here on the front side how it should look using our red terracotta and redstone lamps there in the center. And then at the very top, I use some smooth quartz slabs. And then we'll show you here at the top again as I go back inwards, we're building the cyan, we're squaring off the top of the build one lower than the smooth quartz block. Now back here at the front, we're going to build over to low four times and build up three and then build over three times and build up four. And now we're just going to mirror what we've already done to that side. And next we're going to match the heights of the red terracotta and then one lower on the part of the building that juts out by one. And then now we're just going to copy that look with the smooth quartz slabs around the tops. And then now I'm just filling in the top of the building with the cyan terracotta. Now I'm just dressing up that box that goes up a little bit by adding in the smooth quartz outline around it and then putting a bush there at the very top and some embellishments to make the, the building look like it has a air conditioning or some sort of system 
And then lastly, the embellishment of the KFC logo right there on the front. Just very briefly on the interior, I'm going to be adding one block of thickness to all the colors of the terracotta that are here. So just adding in one thickness, just following all along, dressing up the inside a little bit, and then I'm hiding on that box up there that it's a little ugly to look at. And last but not least, we're going to dress up the backside a bit by adding in some cyan, and then of course the two drive through windows, the pavement and the pickup part of it, the awning on top and the cyan just in certain areas, just to break up the red texturing a bit. And that is pretty much it for this very basic and simple build. And that is it. KFC, a modern style approach to, you know, how I always do medieval, but you know, it was a fun twist, a fun break from the norm. And I don't mind doing these moving forward. In fact, I would, depending on how well this does, perhaps you will see more modern structures in the future. I must assure you that no chickens were harmed in the process of making this video. As you can see, they are tied up outside still. However, as always, until next time, see you later. Thank you.